There are two main types of cinnamon, cassia and ceylon. They both seem to have some great health benefits, but one contains a toxin that is harmful if we eat more than one teaspoon a day. Cassia cinnamon is pretty cheap and what is most commonly consumed around the world. And almost all of the cinnamon you can buy at the supermarket is cassia. It's thought to have a better, stronger and more spicy flavour than Ceylon. Ceylon cinnamon is much less common and is quite expensive. It has a milder and more delicate sweet flavour. But it's cassia that has been used in several studies, especially when it comes to type 2 diabetes. Many of these studies have found that within a few months of using cassia cinnamon regularly, at relatively high doses, there have been significant reductions in fasting blood sugar levels. This study found that around a teaspoon a day of cassia was effective at blunting the spike in glucose levels. But half a teaspoon did not seem to have the same effect. So which type of cinnamon is the toxic one? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Greger. So it's not a cancer effect, it's a liver damage effect, I believe, right? It's the coumarins in cassia cinnamon, but half a teaspoon is below the level of concern. I have a video about it. Um, that may be a concern for small children um, at that dose, but the dose was pretty hefty, more like uh, over a teaspoon. But I actually have a video where I explicitly say exactly how much for adults, for children, is too much. But I think... Uh, half teaspoon is well under that. So I wouldn't be worried about that. If you love your cassia cinnamon for whatever reason, I'd still um, encourage you to switch over to Ceylon cinnamon, um, which doesn't have those coumarins. But, uh, you know, the coumarins may actually be what helps cinnamon bring down blood sugar. So if you're using it for blood sugar control, then cassia, you're probably not going to get the same effects switching over. Now, it's thought that several of cinnamon's bioactive compounds could potentially block the protein called tau from accumulating in the brain. And because tau buildup is a characteristic of Alzheimer's disease, this could be really exciting. Thankfully, this effect was observed using both Ceylon and Cassia cinnamon. As we've heard, when it comes to the dangers of cinnamon, the concern is thought to be the coumarin content, which may be harmful to the liver. And Cassia cinnamon is a very rich source of coumarin. Exceeding the upper limit for coumarin could easily be possible even at just one teaspoon a day for adults. And worryingly, just a quarter of a teaspoon a few times a week for young children could take them over the safe limit. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.